So adding and subtracting complex numbers, piece of cake. You just add the real parts, combine the real parts, combine the imaginary parts, and you're done. Now, with multiplying complex numbers, it's actually, if you think about it, which in some sense, at least philosophically, we sort of have two um, binomials. And so really, it's sort of a foiling thing going on. Let me just remind you one basic fact. If i equals the square root of minus 1, then what does i squared have to equal? Well, i squared would be the square root of minus 1 times itself. And so the radical would actually lift, and I'm just left with minus 1. So that's an important fact to keep in mind, that i squared is just the number minus 1. right? It's that number so that if you square it, you get minus 1. That's how we defined it. So it's worth keeping that in mind, as you'll see in this example. Because now to multiply, you just FOIL away. You're probably saying, well, gee, it's too bad he doesn't have like, a fancy little FOIL you know, card here. But it's OK. Look over there. Can't get any fancier than that. See how it says FOIL? Woohoo! OK. Hollywood, Hollywood. All right. What do you do? So let's treat this like a FOILing thing. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 2, which is 12. Now my inside terms, <laughs> my insides, my insides are quite large. They look like 18i. So I'm going to put that in, 18i. My outside terms are going to give me a minus 10i. And now what's the last times the last? That's going to be a minus 15. And it's not i, it's i squared. Now, remember that i squared is just negative 1. So in fact, that can be cut out and replaced by negative 1, a factor of negative 1. So you can see that now I've got two real pieces. Namely, this becomes a real. You see it? There's no i there anymore. And I've got this piece, and then I've got two imaginary pieces. So I can combine them, like I add complex numbers. So this is a minus, a minus becomes a plus. So this sign flips because I have an i squared. This becomes a 15, plus 15, and 12 gives me a 27. And then I have an 18i minus a 10i, which gives me a black eye. No, 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 just a joke. It gives me an 8, an 8i. So what's this product? It's some other complex number, and the complex number turns out to be that. So this number times that number equals that number. Okay? You see how I did it? I just foiled. Boom, 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 boom. And then just remembered that i squared is negative 1. OK, that's all there is to it. Let's try one more. Let's square out the number 3 plus 5i. It's sort of weird to be using FOIL with numbers. You always think of using FOILs when you have variables. But of course, really, this is a number, but it's a little bit complicated. It's a complicated number. In fact, it's an imaginary number. If I want to square this, that requires me to multiply it by itself. So I've got a FOIL 3 plus 5i with itself. So 3 times 3 is 9. That's part of the real part. Now I get the imaginary parts here. The inside term gives me a, a 15i. In fact, if you really get good at this, you can start doing this sort of almost together. 15i here. There's another 15i here. That's a total of 30i. And the last times the last is a 25i squared. So that means i squared is negative, so it's negative 25. So you could do it that fast. Let's not. So this is going to be plus the inside terms are 15i. The outside terms are another 15i. And the last times the last is a plus 25i squared. But now I remember that i squared is just the same thing as negative 1. So in fact, this whole thing is the same thing as minus 25. Just change the sign. So my real parts are over here. My imaginary parts are over here if I combine those together. Let's see, 9 minus 25. Oh boy, these are always the hard ones, aren't they? This is going to be a minus something. It'll be like a minus 16 he says, hopefully. And then this is just going to be 15 and 15 is 30i. So here I have a number, and I want to know what number the square is. So I take the number and multiply it by itself, and I see that it's this number. So the thing is, this is another complex number, and it turns out this is actually the square of this number. OK? So multiplying, just use the FOIL method really carefully, and remember that i squared equals negative 1.